Morning. How are you today? I'm good. I'm glad to hear it. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. Full of love, joy, family, friends, happiness, food, drink, all those things that make a weekend so special and relaxing. I had a very relaxing weekend. And I know what you're thinking. Mark, what do you do on the weekends? Well, thank you. Thank you for asking. Thank you for being considerate. I mostly am traveling on the weekends because that's what I do for a living. I play music. I have the incredible opportunity and serendipitous fortune to be able to go out there and play music for a living. It's unbelievable. It's great. But some weekends, there's nothing I like better than going home. And though I live in the Valley, out here in Los Angeles, uh, home for me will always be Newport Beach, California. It's where I grew up. It's where I made my bones, so to speak. Eh? You know what I'm saying? Um, it's where the band started. It's where like all the, every edifice down there in Newport Beach, California, every beach, every street, every sidewalk has a memory uh, within the, the bones, within the DNA, within the uh, foundation of everything in that city. It just speaks to me, you know? Because we were young, we just ride through bikes and walk everywhere and, you know, that's just what we did. So going back to Newport Beach and be able to decompress and see the water and just see my friends and it's just something special, you know? And I'm super grateful to be able to go down there with my family now. And I remember we went to, uh, Fashion Island over the weekend. And I don't know if some of you saw, maybe you did. I posted an IG story of, there was like a koi pond and there was a little fish there and there's little stones and rocks there. And that's at a place called Fashion Island. It's been there forever, since the dawn of time. I think it was built in the 60s to tell you the truth. Don't correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but that place was like, home base for all of us growing up. We all went there and hung out and you know, it was our mall. It was an outdoor mall, but it was our spot. It was where we all went. Um, it used to be a movie theater. I think, I think Big Newport's still there, right across the way. So like, you know, all, all my childhood is within this fashion island complex. Um, and it was really a trip to bring my kids there to play on the very like stones and to see the uh, koi fish. And koi fish lived to be a hundred, right? So I'm sure some of these koi fish Saw my little ass there, you know, when I was 10, 11, 12, and now my kids are that age. So it's just crazy. It's all come full circle. And so I kind of had a full circle moment there. And so I took that photo. Um, and I got, I guess that's what we're building here. Memories, right? Material things are nice. Homes are great. Cars are great. You know, clothes, that's your thing. That's great. And those things are, those things are great. We all know those things are great but they don't define who you are. You know, it's the memories and the people you surround yourself with that defines who you are. There's a great quote to say, uh, show me a person's friends and I'll show you the man. Well, I've got some of the best friends in the world and I'm so grateful for all of them. And uh, we went to this restaurant called A down there in Newport Beach, A restaurant. If you haven't been there, go there. Yes, I was initially an investor when it first opened, I'm not anymore. Once the kids were born, I took all my frivolous investments out and put them in their college fund, though taking it out of A was a bad idea because that restaurant just kills it and it's just become a staple down there. I was actually at Fashion Island and someone said, hey, Mark, I'm going to A tonight. I'm going to your restaurant. I don't really get into the backstory of why I'm not involved anymore, but I still feel like I am because, you know, McGee, my best friend in the world, is still Connor, my buddy Amin. So we had got to rent out this place in the back because... Ownership has its privileges, right? And McG and all of us just were playing music all day, all this old cult, uh, Zodiac Mind War, Blondie, uh, Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five, Run DMC, Psychedelic Furs, uh, Fastway. I mean, we just went down the LA Guns. We just went down the list of our childhood playing this music on 10 in this restaurant, it used to be called the Arches, that we used to go there for graduations, birthdays, all that stuff. That's the reason why we initially got involved in the restaurant, to kind of save it, to save the aesthetic, to save the tradition of this wonderful place that's now called A, um, in uh, memorial and tribute to Arches. That's why it's called A. 
Uh, and, and that's it. And I was remembering, my gosh, everything's coming full circle. And that's what it's about. If you could build some blocks of history amongst your relationships. I'm talking about, I mean, my best friendships, they're, I mean, with McGee, we've been going on 45 years, you know, with Rodney. I mean, I, I, Rodney, guitar player. I've been with Rodney. I've known Rodney for 40 years, you know, so... I've been with my, my wife for a super long time. So you're building these blocks. Uh, and you, when you start building these wonderful blocks of like history and depth and experience of highs and lows and relationship, that is where the good stuff is. And when you can stop and smell the flowers in the position you are in right there, woo, that's living people, you know? So I'm grateful for all the small moments. And you catch yourself, catch yourself in the small moments, you know? And hear the whispers of what they're telling you. Anyway, that's me. That was my weekend. It was wonderful to be home. It's always nice to come to this home. You know, this is the home we built ourselves, you know, are making our memories. So it's always nice to go back and uh, reacquaint ourselves with the old memories and making new ones. See, making new memories on top of old memories. That's the good stuff. That's what I'm trying to articulate to this whole thing with this giant zip on my forehead. I wish you all a great day. Take care. Much love. Back to your regularly scheduled programming. Cheers.